What is going on everyone? Here is LG's 420 watt 4.1 Bluetooth soundbar. It is the model SLM4R. Let's unbox it. So I'm going to put the black wire, if you can see it, this one is black, um, right here it's black and the one on the left is white, so I'm going to put the black one in the black, like so, and I'm going to put this one right here. So it's going to be like just like we did earlier, the black is going to be negative and the see-through is positive, because if we look over here, you can see the black wire is connected to the negative, which is the black color, and then the positive is the red one. So let's put it in here. You're going to put it in here. You're going to push this open and then slide it inside that hole. Okay, here we go. Everything is connected now. Let's power on. Let's go here. Bluetooth. All right, we're gonna check Bluetooth and connect my cell phone. It should pop up saying LG right over here. Connected, there we go. All of the media control buttons and the power button is on the right side of the sound bar. Everything you see here, the sound bar, the two speakers and the sub, also the um, wireless kit over there, Everything is constructed out of plastic, but they do look nice as you can tell over here. See, check it out. I mean, they do look nice. <laughs> so right here, you can see it has this carbon fiber finish on the subwoofer, which I do like. This is the speaker, and you can see on the top it's got this cool look. Everything is constructed out of plastic here besides the grill. It's made out of metal. And then this over here, it looks like a mini router. This also is made out of plastic, but it has a very simple design. Everything is very sleek and minimal. I like it. It looks good. Here's a closer look at the sound bar. The grills on the tiny speakers are made out of metal. However, the ones on this, the sound bar, is made out of plastic. And then we have a tiny LED display. Here's the remote control. It runs on two AAA batteries and uh, it's definitely going to get the job done. That's the mini display I was talking about. So to cycle through your different connection types, all you have to press is the F function key 
and you see you can connect LG TV through USB, optical, Bluetooth, and yeah. Ports on the back side. You can connect via USB over here. Optical devices can be plugged in through over here. And uh, it does not look like you can connect through an HDMI. If you were wondering, the soundbar is 35 inches in width. The total power output the sound system is going to be pushing is 420 watts. And I gotta say, that's pretty good for a sound system that only costs $180. Setting up everything was very simple. I did not read the manual and everything when I turned the system on, they all connected. Let's do a sound test. It can get really loud. This is still not full volume. 75% volume. All right, we're playing some jazz and blues right now. This is max volume. Last song. you enjoyed this video definitely make sure to like and subscribe if you want to help this channel out and this room is just too small to unbox all this anyways have an awesome day everyone and i'll see you guys next time peace